Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you how to export a Google Colab or Jupyter Notebook to a Markdown file. There are many use cases for doing this. For example, we can take Markdown files and turn them into static websites using a program such as Jekyll. We can take those Markdown files and also turn them into books using programs such as Bookdown and R Markdown. We can render emails using Markdown. And we can render Google Colab and Jupyter Notebooks using Markdown. We can see the text cells here are in Markdown. Let's take a look at the file that we want to turn into a Markdown file. We can see that we have the notebook here. This is one I cre created earlier on Markov chains, and we have it rendered with LaTeX, Markdown, and we can see we have the cells as well. So I'm going to go to File, Download, and I'm going to download this notebook. And I am going to drag and drop the notebook into the files folder here, right into content. Now that we have that loaded in, we also need to install the program that we'll work with. We can pip install directly, or we can pip install from GitHub as well, which is what I am doing here. Let's run the cell. And from here, we can convert our file. We need to run this as a shell command, so we are going to start with an exclamation point. We're going to call a note down. I'm going to get the file path for our notebook by copying path. Let's go back out, paste here. I am going to say to markdown. And I also want to export without any of the cell output. So I'm going to say dash dash strip here. And I am going to finally output this into a markdown format. Let's take a look at the file. I am going to download it here. And we can see that we have this rendered in Markdown. We are looking at this through Notepad++, but what I could do is I can copy all of these and paste them into a Google Colab text cell. And we, were, we can see that we were able to copy and paste this. It sometimes doesn't do it perfectly. We can see that there's an issue right here where it has it as LaTeX when it should be Markdown and we could go down. We, the all, way we exported it as well, we also don't have the outputs, but we'll take a look at how to do that right now and we'll export it using outputs as well. So let's delete this cell. And I'm going to copy and paste this. I'm going to get rid of strip and I'm going to rename this. Let's download and take a look. And we can see that we have the input cell here and the output cell. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. I included a few references, including how to use Bookdown and R Markdown if you want to create a book using Markdown files. I also included the Jekyll website, which can be used to render static websites using Markdown files. If you like the video, feel free to like and subscribe. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, Twitter, GitHub, and Odyssey. Thanks everybody for watching and happy coding.